Virologist Lava Kumar and his staff are working on new ways to get rid of viruses that for centuries have destroyed harvests. If there is single seed contaminated and if it is used for propagation, that means from one contaminated plant, we will end up generating thousands of infected material. Nigeria, the biggest producer of yams, accounts for 66% of global output. But unlike other countries, there is no formal system to analyze and store seeds. This has limited its production capacity. These scientists are creating new seed varieties that are more robust and sustainable. What goes on in this laboratory has the potential to change the fortunes of hundreds of thousands of Nigerian yam farmers and the country's agriculture industry. Researchers say their work could improve yields by up to 400%. The breakthrough research has made it possible to grow seeds from the plant's stems. Each of these plants has at least 300 nodes that can be transplanted to produce tubers that are not only bigger, but also disease-free. What it means for the farmer is more cash, better health, better nutrition, more food, and then more general well-being for the society. Abdullah Isa Madaki is one of the few farmers who have tried the new varieties. If you plant, you can germinate well. That's number one. The second, if time of selling in market is the big money. Because the if, if you look at the how the tuba is big, I yourself you see you can testify that the, this variety is good. Like most Nigerian farmers, he's been using nearly a third of his annual harvest to plant for the next season. But the new research means he's able to keep his entire yield and even produce seeds from leaves of the plants already in the ground. <laughs> 